Alyssa Marini never imagined herself a fighter. <laughs> Up until now, she only played team sports. The idea of an individual sport that it just relied on me was terrifying. Terrifying. I didn't like to just go out and everybody's all eyes on you. It's scary. In a way, for years, Alyssa tried to hide. In 2013, her weight ballooned to 200 pounds. At 5'3", she was obese. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything, and because I wasn't doing anything, it's just the cycle. You just, you get unhappy, and you eat, and you just, you don't do anything, so you eat more, and you get more upset and more disappointed. Alyssa planned to leave New Hampshire for the anonymity of California. It's pretty low. Pretty low. I was just, I was, I saved up money. Like, I had money saved. I was ready to cut and run. Good, five push-ups on my command. Here we go. A pit stop to the Wu Kickboxing Academy in Londonderry changed her plans. Wrap it down, mountain climbers. Let's go, run it out. We were in the corner of the mat and we were looking for the door. It was pretty intense. I wasn't ready for that kind of intensity, but I came back the next day. Even signed up for private sessions with co-owner Barbara Wu. And up, you're on your feet. Kick it back. She had said to me, uh, I think I'm gonna move to California on my question was why? Why would you do that? You're from here, her family's here. Why would you do that? Because I want to go someplace where nobody knows me. I want to start over. It pulled on my heartstrings and all I said to her was, that's fine. Give me six months. Just six months and then if you want to go, go. That was more than four years ago. Now at 28, Alyssa is a highly conditioned spitfire. She dropped to 124 pounds and gained an interest in mixed martial arts. The thing about Alyssa that makes her stand out is once she sets her mind to something, she's unwavering. Alyssa went all in. Kickboxing classes, jujitsu, cardio, training six days a week, and coached by Barbara and her husband, Roger Wu. She doesn't complain, she doesn't stop. She just trains and trains and trains and goes, you know? It's like a little machine. Ladies and gentlemen, you're so and it's paid off. Please welcome Alyssa I'd like to see her a little more active. Ooh. You can start to see on her left leg. Alyssa landed a knockout in the first round of her amateur debut this past June in Manchester. The bout was over in two minutes, 56 seconds. She also won Fighter of the Night, taking home the seven-foot trophy. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun. The knockout was absolutely insane, amazing, just amazing. I was so proud of her, you know. We've come a long way from the time she walked into the gym. Alyssa credits the Wu Wei for her success in and out of the ring. They've put a lot into me and they believed a lot in me. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I am. This is not just a kickboxing facility. This is not about just turning out a kickboxer. This is about helping people reach their goals. And there are many success stories, like Amina Delahi. Keep them up now, keep them up. Here we go, ready? Strong. Good girl. The 13-year-old who has Down syndrome struggles with weight and maintaining focus. After training with Barbara at Wu, Amina won five gold medals in rhythmic gymnastics at the Special Olympics. Say Team Wu, baby! <laughs> nice work. She just gets Amina moving, but she makes it fun. And so they, they play games. Um, Amina doesn't even know that she's exercising. She's having so much fun with her. Her retention ability is absolutely amazing. I don't think I taught her that. I think she, she brought that to me, and all I did was give her the tools of what to do with that focus. 
Alyssa's focus is to turn pro. First, she must compete in at least three amateur fights. And regardless of the outcome, she knows she's already won. It's indescribable. Um, I was saying after the fight, my face hurts. But it wasn't from the fight. It was because of the smiling.